Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fragrant Bunker. Today we're doing the top five perfumes for the month of February. I have the most fantastic and spectacular AI generated background. I am basically, I prompted Bubbles to generate a February landscape in the middle of the Alps in a perfume store and make it pinky and a little bit of cotton candy clouds in the background. I want to be in that store, okay? And I want to browse through all the perfume bottles uh, that uh, were just... Look at this thing. This is amazing. Wow. Um, anyway, so it's almost like a James Bond movie as well. Let's get straight to it. First, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today. Gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Deco Ball spelled together there as well for extra perks. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream several times a week. So come join the fun and the chats uh, on my main channel, my Super Deco main channel. So the first perfume for the month of February. Now, mind you, <clears throat> February is a kind of a very cold month in the Northern Hemisphere. Dare I say colder than January at times, but then it's really very hot in the Southern Hemisphere. So, you know, somebody's winter is somebody else's summer, but psychologically, we're one month into the new year and now we're in this weird month that is kind of transitional. It's full-blown winter, but it's St. Valentine's Day month as well, so there's kind of the heat and the warmth of passion and hearts and the color red. And then we're, you know, this year, February also, I think it does, right? This year, February has 29 days. It's also the Olympic Games year. So it's a little bit longer than usual. And for this length, <laughs> this extra day that makes a difference, I was thinking it's kind of like a chameleon. It's it's a, I don't know, like a hack almost, you know, like humanity has invented that extra day <laughs> every four years. We have to kind of catch up with the calendar because our way of calculating hours and days is not really correct because the planet doesn't move according to uh, around the sun, according to our own calendar. So that's why we have to adjust every four years and add an extra day. It's ridiculous. But so for that kind of something mimicking something else, all of a sudden we have an extra day. I was thinking a lot about this this perfume and I'm using it a lot and I've kind of rediscovered it in my collection and I'm kind of obsessed with it all over again. So this is my number one. Uh, it would be Guerlain's Liu. Oh my gosh, this bottle fits in so perfectly into this shop. Look at this. It could, it could be so, it could just stand there like so like, bloop. okay, the, <laughs> the green screen kind of, anyway, uh, eliminates it. Okay, so why is this mimicking something else? For, for those of you who know, you know. IYKYK moment. Liu was developed by Guerlain as a dupe. Well, dare I, I mean, blasphemous. Guerlain does not do dupes, I know. But it is kind of a dupe to Chanel number no. 5. Okay, so go check out my review of Liu to figure out and to hear all the deets about how this came to be and why uh, it's... Um, why it smells like number five and why, you know, why was it in production for so many years? Somebody told me that this one is discontinued. I still see it at my local Guerlain counter, so I'm not so sure if they're just selling leftover stock or not. But if you love Liu, get it now before it's too late. This is the Eau de Parfum concentration, 75 mil. It went through a lot of reformulations, you know, uh, and a lot of different bottle changes. It was in their, like, exclusive collection. Then it hit their regular uh, release. And now I don't know. I don't know anymore at this point. So, Gerlinade with aldehydes and that abstract note that Chanel Number no. 5 also has. This is kind of a perfume that mimics something that isn't there, really. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Chanel Number no. 5 is or isn't there when you wear this. It is different than Chanel Number no. 5, but it is kind of... <sighs> it gives me Chanel Number no. 5 vibes in the best of ways, though, okay? Not in any cheap way or bad way. So for, for the month of February, in a year in which we have 29 days in February, I think this one is really kind of it's the tweaked version of February, and I love it. It's playful. You know, it's fun. It's kind of like a 
Chanel number no. five with a twist, make it guerlain. I love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful little divertissement. And of course, you know, developed for the wife of Mr. Guerlain. The whole story is in my review. So it's kind of also, he didn't want her to wear Chanel number no. five. So he made her <laughs> his version of Chanel. I mean, the drama, you know what I mean? So this one is really, really fun in February. I like to wear it and think to myself, you know, oh, maybe I am someone who I'm not or... You know, you, you're kind of, you wear this and you put on a cloak of being someone in something that you're not, but you're fantasizing. It's all good fun. It's all for your private personal pleasure, really. You know, I always say you wear perfumes for yourself, not for others. At least that's how I wear perfumes. Liu, L-I-U. It's how it's spelled by Guerlain. That's my number one. Uh, number two, oh, because at this point, I'm really longing for warmer days. And uh, Lulu uh, by Cacharel, the Eau de Parfum. I love the reformulation. <sighs> what a beauty. This thing is really, really giving me the vibes, the juge, you know. Powdery, fluffy, soft tuberose concoction, okay. This is an 80s baby. It's still in production I adore the spray version. You know, people love the genie in a bottle splash version that used to be in production in the past. But uh, I always preferred the spray bottle. And yes, this design also came out in the 80s. It's just that the spray bottle was not as famous and popular as the splash bottle back in the day. That's why most people have a memory of just the genie bottle for Lulu. And a lot of people think that this is a modern bottle design for it. No, it's not. The, the 80s version of Lulu was a spray was just the same. But I love this one because it looks like a uh, Star uh, Wars spaceship, you know, that kind of flies into into space. It's it's just this thing is just I adore the spray bottle. OK. It's perfect for those like this, these crystalline days in February when it's when the cold cuts you like a knife but the weather outside is completely blue skies, razor sharp cold. And then to wear this in the cold, oh, it's just, it hits the spot. It really hits the spot in just the right way. Highly recommend it. I enjoy this all day in the evenings as well. When you're, you know, cuddling up at home and you're doing, you know, you're watching a movie or a TV show or something and you just want to feel your oats under the blanket, very cozy. Oh, this is so, so, so good with a cup of cocoa, hot cocoa with marshmallows. And then you got your little Lulu on to feel cosmopolitan, even though you're like kind of, you know, ratchet at home, you know, under the blankets. It's such a cool kind of a uh, contrast. And again, we're back to this mimicking something, this kind of the mimicry, the mimicry of insects in a way. You're, you're, you're cocooning yourself again we're back in this year uh that has 29 days in february instead of 28 and, and and something is different this year something is there's an extra added to it you know you're you're acting like you're something you're not in a way just like liu is lulu as well so this is my february i'm very much into the carnival type of you know il carnevale di venezia for example which also takes place well no i think this time of year as well uh it, it's it's all about dressing up and Almost as if we're ready to give up, you know, winter. We're done with the cold. But uh, it's like winter is following us. So we have, you know, Groundhog Day is also in February. Like it's it's all about hiding yourself uh, so that winter won't recognize you, so that winter will go away and leave you alone. And you're going to be okay without winter. You know, that's kind of the whole vibe that I'm feeling this year. It's It's all about cosplaying. It's all about dressing up. In, in a way that make that expresses how you feel inside and that way of, of expressing how you feel inside through your clothes and the perfumes you're wearing, especially the perfumes you're wearing, kind of catapults you in a whole movie, in a whole state of mind. And you're mimicking something that in reality is not really happening to you, but you're it's the mimicry of it all, I think. That's that's February perfumes for me. And Lulu really 
defines that moment. It, it almost kind of catapults you also back in time. It's an 80s moment, a little bit of a shoulder pad, you know, glamour, overdoing the makeup, doing blush all the way up here, very 80s, very living your life, even though like, you know, we're miserable, basically. <laughs> we're still kind of coming out of the pandemic and we're still like, ugh, 2023 was a doozy. So 2024 seems to be also kind of a, I mean, thus far, oof, let's just hope it gets better. That's why I'm kind of also needing all of these perfumes to kind of make my mind frame shift to another place, another time, you know, cosplaying my life as, as I want it to be rather than what it is. So that's what the, that's the, those are the perfumes I'm seeking out uh, this February. And Lulu hits hits that like oh look at the beautiful two blues yeah they're not the same blue but they almost match my little chanel ribbon here so uh, another one i love so much in winter and this one is very very wintry okay this is the only one that is not in denial about winter this one is fully aware of winter and um the name is printed in green so i hope it's not going to be transparent It might be transparent, but oh well. This is a Russian winter frozen in the middle of nowhere. And it's just you in your little hut, surrounded by snow and ice in the middle of nature. There's no city near you. And you are basically, you have your collection of wood <laughs> that you've kind of stocked up on to, to burn it throughout winter to keep yourself warm. And that's about it. That's basically it. And you have that promise of your loved one returning to you, but you're alone. And that would be, I oh, see it's transparent. Uh, the name is down here. Incense Zagorsk by Comte des Garçons in its Series 3 Incense Collection, 50 ml Eau de Toilette. Oh my gosh. The, the, this is a fantastic incense with a carrot base. <laughs> Can you believe your, your little carrot and potatoes too is brewing on the side in this damp, cold February while you're kind of trying to warm up in your little cottage in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and you have to envision uh, the silence when everything is surrounded by snow and snow absorbs the sounds. So you're like, you're, you're alone in the middle of nature and there's just snow around you. And if you stay quiet, you literally hear that specific type of silence that snow delivers. So this is kind of also why I chose this as the third perfume in my selection, because it's kind of at the root, at the core, at the base of, 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 of these five perfumes and at the base of winter. Like, I'm not forgetting the fact that it is winter. I'm not forgetting the fact that it's cold. And I'm not forgetting the fact that this is the time of year where we, we, sh we, we still should be, some of us more, some of us less, collecting our thoughts, gathering ideas for how the year is going to look like you know we're still in our hibernation mode if you're in the northern hemisphere and and we're still you know gathering energy to to you know to to spring in in spring sprung in spring to be to half been doth sprung in spring so this is a promise of a winter that allows you the space and the mind setting to actually collect your thoughts and meditate and, and figure out what it is you're going to do this year. So it's a beautiful, beautiful perfume for February. I love Comte des Garçons incense series. I, I love all five of them, really. Uh, you know, in different times of year, they all hit the spot for me in different ways. They're all dedicated to different kind of capitals of religions worldwide, you know, Zagorsk being for Russia, there, uh, then there's Jasalme, Avignon, Kyoto, and Orzazate, which is really hard to pronounce, or Orthazate. I'm not so sure how to pronounce that one. So th those are the five different kind of cardinals, uh, cardinal religious points in, in, in the world. Love this one. Okay. So now moving on. Um... This is a beauty. And uh, we had a mimicking, Guerlain mimicking Chanel at the beginning. And now we have a Chanel, a really beautiful cold Chanel, crystalline in its composition, bottle design, smell, 
uh, the colors utilized for the packaging. It, it's just screams, at least this year, to me. It screams February. Allure by Chanel. This is the Eau de Toilette and its gorgeous little metal stopper. Mm. <sighs> I smell this one and everything is okay. Seriously, I just adore how elegantly composed this perfume is. How much it, it just kind of makes me believe, again, the mimicry. It makes me believe like, oh, yeah, everything is okay. Even though outside it's a mess my life is a mess everything is a mess but i smell this and i'm like yeah you'll be okay ah it's all good it's all good you know it's like emails to answer taxes to file there's a lot to do okay there's a lot to do but i'm like you know what mm, yeah it's okay <laughs> Allure is a beautiful, beautiful, romantic, highly romantic perfume, but it's cold at its core. And uh, really, I mean, Chanel's uh, marketing team nailed the, the name Allure, the, you know, the Allure of Chanel. This smells like the, what the definition of the word Allure is, really. It, it's a sparkle. It's a, it's a smidge. It's a hint of elegance, of style, of sophistication. And... Uh, it just takes you places. You know what? This one, we have to spray it on. Oh, man. It is so, so refined. Um, beautiful in winter. It elevates you. It makes you feel like, you know what? We really got this, even though we don't got nothing. <laughs> it's so good. So good. Such a hopeful, such a hopeful, sophisticated fragrance. Makes you feel good. It's it it's clean. It has that soapy aldehydic opening, classic Chanel, amped aldehydes. You know, very soapy aldehydic opening, and then it kind of, you know, it's quite abstract though, as a perfume. Allure is very similar to Chanel Number no. Five, not in the way it smells, but more in the way it's conceptualized. Sure, you could like sit here and dissect all the separate notes in this perfume, but you don't need to because. It's quite masterfully blended and composed. Jacques Polge did a great job on this one. That uh, it it's floral, but it's but it's, it's a smidge ambery. It's aldehydic, but you know, but it's like powdery. It goes in different territories, and and you can't quite grasp it. But that's what allure is. So the allure of Chanel, by the way, wonderful book. You should read the allure of Chanel um, by Paul Morand, co-written by Coco Chanel herself. Wonderful book. I always have a copy with me whenever I travel and uh, I actually have it here. It's always with me. The allure of Chanel. I have a tiny kind of pocket format here as well, but I also have a hardcover copy and I have several editions of this of this book. Uh, the Allure of Chanel by Paul Morand. And uh, this is a really, really, really worth a read. It's amazing. And then you got the Allure perfume to go with it. Ah, oh, look at this. These two together. It's just sublime. Yeah, so, you know, I, I don't want to go into the notes of this one. Let let let's play it in an abstract way. You know, February is a very abstract one. I mean, look at this background here. Can it get any more abstract than this? It's a vision. It's a vision. It's an emotion. It's a vibe. And Allure really sets the tone to create whatever vision, whatever vibe you want. Talk about mimicry. Here we go again. You don't need to know the ingredients in this one. You invent them. Allure really allows you, this is the beauty of this perfume. It, it allows you to smell whatever you want in it. It's that beautiful. It, 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 it gives you that mental space to fill it with, with your own allure, with your own style. Very elegant perfume, extremely elegant perfume. Very underrated too, you know, it's not that popular. It came out in the 90s and uh, it's not their best seller at the moment, but look at this beautiful bottle. I think Chanel did a wonderful uh, design uh, of this one. So that's my number four. 
you see, to kind of reinvent yourself, redefine yourself. We're cocooned. We're going to come out of our cocoon pretty soon as spring approaches. But right now is the time to be cocooned and to define how we are going to look like once we emerge from that cocoon as butterflies, right? And that's what Allure is. Allure sets the tone to reinvent ourselves. Oh my gosh, such a beauty for for February and uh, all day long, even in the evenings, great date perfume as well. And a little spritz just before you go to bed, also really beautiful. Or you spray it on your pillow sheets or in your pillowcase maybe an hour before you go to bed and you have that little allure with, with you. The last one is the promise for spring and we needed some woods in this selection. And uh, this is a gorgeous sandalwood, a gorgeous synthetic sandalwood, unfortunately discontinued, but this is my promise. This is like winter promising me, hey, it's all going to be good. Like I'm, I'm going to hang around a little bit longer, but then I'm going to be gone and then spring is there. So we'll go, we'll go. Dolce Gabbana by Man. Ugh. I really, uh, it hurts my soul that they discontinued this one. This is so good. Okay. So good. It is such, it, it, late 90s, early 2000s sandalwood so kind of about to enter the y2k era and it just brings a smile to my face it's a beautiful little time travel machine to the best of times in the 90s and it's look at this bottle i mean the, the female version is kind of a leopard geppard or leopard print and for men uh, they did the uh, zebra i love i love it i love the bottle design it's an aluminum case so it's metal and then it's uh, paint printed so it's kind of cold to the touch but then this aluminum case is sitting on top of a plastic case and inside of it is the glass bottle so you can see here this kind of mattified color that's the plastic the aluminum is on top of it and then we got the glass bottle inside and it's glued in there you can't take it out uh, and then we have the plastic in there but the lid is metal oh, this is such a beauty it's kind of reminiscent of Rive Gauche, you know, because of Rive Gauche's metal container, not the smell. The smell doesn't align at all. They're very different smells. But just the kind of idea of a rounded container. This one is more sophisticated than Rive Gauche. You know, Rive Gauche is just aluminum and the perfume sits inside of the aluminum. Here we got aluminum, plastic, and glass. And uh, the bottle is just a round glass bottle in there. Oh, I wish I had a bigger one. 50 mil. Half a bottle only left. So I got 25 mil left. And you know this is really costly because uh, it's no longer in production and people really love it so much. So, you know, they know what they have when they have a bottle of this. And so it goes for a lot of money on the resale market. So it is what it is. I'll treasure this one as long as I have it. Uh, and um, when it's gone, it's gone. Just like everything. And just like that, winter was over. Right? You know... And so that's what Dolce Gabbana by Man is to me. It's that kind of promise of better days ahead, wonderful spring to come. The sandalwood in here is so delicate. So beautifully blended. Oh, man. Euro Italia did a wonderful job on this one. I do hope that, uh, they, you know, well, I know Dolce Gabbana are not working with Euro Italia anymore. They reined their own distribution into their own hands now. They used to be working with Prestige, Shiseido. Or Shiseido, no longer. But they did not bring this back. I do believe there's some... Well, everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged and just my opinion. And it is my opinion that uh, maybe there were some legal issues, like copyright issues, like who owned the composition of By Man. Maybe it was you know, Euro Italia's thing. And so Dolce Gabbana could not take it with them when they left Euro Italia. Maybe that's why this one got discontinued. I don't know. I don't know, but such a shame because this is a masterpiece and it is the promise for spring. Like towards the end of February, this one hits the spot and makes you believe that it's already warmer than it actually is. Again, we're cosplaying. Again, we're faking something. Again, a perfume is mimicking something that is opposite of what the reality is about. Oh, the beauty of the month of February. Coincidentally, not for nothing, I've designed this uh, background here 
February is, for the Northern Hemisphere at least, the best month of the year to take photos uh, in nature if it is a blue sky because the Earth is at, at an angle to the sun uh, and uh, it delivers the rays kind of fall at a certain angle on, on the Earth and go through the ozone and create a certain type of blue tint. It is the most beautiful blue sky you will ever see is in February. So enjoy it. They last very short, but then again, all beautiful things, all the best things are very short. Enjoy those blue skies in February. They are the most beautiful blue skies of the entire year. Coincidentally, back in the day before digital photography, uh, when analog was the word du jour, Me Agfa, for example, uh, do you remember Agfa? They used to create uh, a special, not only Kodak as well, well, all of them did, but a special film that was susceptible to light that was best used in February. Also in America, the best, because especially in the States, uh, the blue sky, oh, New York, the blue skies of New York in February. Yeah, that's nowhere else in the world, baby. So that would be my selection. Top five for the month of February 2024. Perfumes. <laughs> Thumb up this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and let me know your favorites down below. Are you also kind of in the mimicry mode at the moment? <laughs> or are you like completely in reality and you're not in denial about anything? Let me know down below. Love you loads. Until next time, subscribe and never forget to never give up on love. Bye. Mwah.